Give me that sugar. You know what time it is, baby. It's time to get night. Give me that sugar, 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 sugar. Give me sugar, 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 sugar. It was a really deep and a really magical and musical time and like the scene that we had going in Boston, it was just very euphoric every night. Jeff and I met at that Tam O'Shanter after I had an acoustic gig that night and there was no one in the whole place. And I thought I was pretty dialed into the Boston music scene and I was like, this, this is a guy I haven't seen before with like awesome blues sensibility, harmonica on a rack, you know, playing and flapping his legs at like a million miles an hour. I was like, this kid's on fire, man. The catalyst of the whole thing was that Jeff had the Monday night jam session, and Jim showed up for the jazz jam, and uh, he didn't have an upright bass. Jeff sent him home and said, you can't jam. <laughs> he was trying to get anybody he could except for Jim. <laughs> <laughs> it, went, it went through everybody at the jam session, one by one. A couple months later, I got laid off from a job, and I collected unemployment and bought an upright bass. Really? Yep, that's a great investment. That's a good story. Yeah, I every day. The most recent session was maybe the best live cutting session we might have ever had. Musicianship, the vibe, the chemistry, everything was just like so immediate. It was a good batch of songs that really kind of hailed back to kind of the original style. It's just like a, a magical energy, you know, the way each of us relate to each other on our instruments. As soon as we started playing, you know, the magic was right there in the room with us. So we are uh, up in the Brushfire Studios today, working on a song called One Night Romance, and we're so honored and happy to have Papa! Mary Clay in the studio. Come, come on! Killing it. All right, we got it, Mary. Okay, baby. Come on, grab a minute. Excuse me. We haven't had the original lineup in place for like five years and you know honestly like we're a trio so we just have a really good sensibility writing together. We just go right back I mean it just seems like one long jam to me.